Hi, I'm Jesse with Jesse Dean Designs. Today we're going to show you how to map the Photon Fader with DJ Player Pro. First thing you want to do is hook up your USB cables, audio cables, and everything that you need to control your software. Second thing is go ahead and start DJ Player Pro. Now in DJ Player Pro in the center of the screen you're going to notice like a gear, kind of gear cog icon. You want to press that and over to the far right you're going to see a blue letter say MIDI. Select that. Now, you can also show USB slash virtual devices photon, click that, and then we're gonna map that, click that again. First thing we're gonna show you how to do is map the pads. Go ahead and scroll down to where it says pads, button pads, first thing is you click one. Go ahead and it says deck A, input one, hit learn, hit pad A, apply, back arrow, pad two, learn, two, apply, back arrow, three, learn, three, apply, back arrow, four, learn, four, apply, and back arrow. Now, once you have that done, you can do that one through eight, it's the same process. Now, every time we do this process, you wanna go ahead and hit the little icon that looks like kind of a little floppy disk that's next to where it says Photon or Copy A. So you're gonna go ahead and hit that and that's gonna save your mapping. Now we're gonna go ahead and map Bank B on the first four pads like we did in Bank A. So hit the Bank button. The Bank will go ahead and change colors on the LED. We're gonna do the same process as we did in Bank A. So go ahead and click Pad 1. And, but this time we're gonna scroll down a little further. It says Map Deck B. So we hit Input 1, Learn. 1, Apply, Back Arrow. Go to two, deck B, learn, hit two, apply, back arrow, bank three, learn, apply, and pad four, learn, pad four, apply, and back arrow. Now that the first four pads on bank A and B are now set, but you can go ahead and do the same process you want through one through eight on bank A and bank B. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to bank A and we're gonna go ahead and map your DVS through on and off buttons. So we're gonna click that through on and off. On deck A, we're gonna go ahead and hit learn, and we're gonna hit the through A button, hit apply, and then go ahead and go down to where it says map deck B, hit learn, and through B button, hit apply. Now those are now assigned and mapped to the software. Hit that little uh, floppy disk looking icon to save that. Now we're gonna go ahead and map the crossfader. So we're gonna scroll down to where it says main mixer controls. We're gonna go ahead and crossfader, learn, move the fader back and forth a couple times, hit apply, and now your fader is now mapped. Go ahead and now hit the little save button again. We're gonna go ahead and now map the FX one, two, and three. So we're gonna scroll up here to where it says effects on and off, hit that. Go to deck A, hit learn, FX1, apply. And we're gonna go ahead and hit the back arrow, scroll down, FX2, hit learn, FX2 button, apply. Go ahead and go back now to FX3, learn, FX3, apply and save. Now your effects for bank A or bank A has been uh, assigned. We're going to go back through the same thing again and do now bank B. So we're going to go back up to FX1, click on and off. First thing we're going to do though is change bank by pressing the bank button when the LEDs change colors. Now we're going to go ahead and hit learn on deck A, one, uh, apply. So now we're going to go ahead and map your, the deck B uh, to the effects buttons. So we're gonna go ahead and go to effects one, hit on off. But the first thing you want to do is hit the bank button and that will change the color of the LEDs which will let you know that you're in the next bank. So scroll down to deck B, hit learn for FX one and press FX one. Apply, back arrow, go down to effects two, input for deck B, hit learn, press two, Apply, back arrow, and down to FX3. Hit learn. And then hit FX3. Hit apply, 
and now it's saved to, the, or it's actually a map to it. So we're gonna go ahead and hit save again. And what that will do is save these presets that we just did on this. So right now we've got pads one through four mapped in deck A and deck B, and we have all the effects assigned to deck A and deck B. And we also have through A, through B. So if you want to use vinyl, regular vinyl through this instead of time code, you can still use your effects and also use the fader to cut your audio. So this is the mapping process. So we're gonna go ahead and save one more time. That's how you map the Photon Fader with DJ Player Pro.